Let's move on to the uh, Mexican team because we've got their draw as well. Of course, uh, Mexico in Group B with Ecuador, Venezuela, uh, and uh, Costa Rica, Honduras. Well, no, sorry, the uh, Jamaica winners. They've uh, moved some things around on us there uh, towards the end. So the Mexico draw, Herc, uh, what do we think about it? Well, for Mexico, it's, it's, it's a bit interesting because uh, – Ecuador is a good team. It's a better team. Mm -hmm. uh, this go around this edition, so is Venezuela. They're exciting teams, young talent. There's some uh, change there. Bolivia is going to probably fight for last place in that group. But historically, Mexico has done very well against Ecuador. They've done very well against Venezuela. They've run, done very well against Comunibol just in general. So you could see a Mexico team who will be a home team in this tournament. If there's any team that will be a home team in this tournament is the Mexican national team. They won't be playing in soccer-specific stadiums. They'll be playing in football stadiums and filling them up. Yeah, I think this is a very accessible group for the Mexican national team, for Jimmy Lozano's team. This is as good as it could have been for Jimmy Lozano's team. Yeah, I got them in Houston, L.A., and Arizona. Is that right? That's what we got them for the, uh, for the group phase there um, in Group B. So as I look at this, I told you, pot two, you really wanted to avoid Uruguay and Colombia. Full respect to Ecuador, but I think that's manageable from a Mexico perspective. I actually feel very differently about Venezuela. They're the team out of pot three that from a Mexico perspective, I thought it was most critical um, to avoid. I know there's the history with Chile, but if we look at Chile right now, Right. They're in a very, very, yeah, different place. Very bad moment. Um, certainly not the team that won back-to-back -back Copa Americas. I think they've won one out of six um, in Conmebol qualifying. So that's not a team that scared me. Panama, again, scares you in the way that it's a familiar foe, but I think a, a team that Mexico would at least feel comfortable playing. And Paraguay, I, again, right now, based on where they're at at a Conmebol, doesn't really scare me. Right. Venezuela, if we look at them right now are playing the best, I think, out of that group. And then on top of that, I know you pointed to the history, but think about that 2016 Copa America. Mexico played Venezuela in what was effectively a home game in the last group phase game, and if not for a very late goal from Tecatito, um, Mexico loses that game. They, they had to come back to draw. Venezuela was really good, and this Venezuela now is way better than that Venezuela. Absolutely, absolutely. But would you rather play a team like Venezuela, or would you rather play a team that's favored? Because Chile was favored mm -hmm. in that moment, like Chile. No, I'd rather I'd rather play Venezuela. But remember, Chile was a was a knockout round game. Right. You know, it, this is this is in the group phase. So if you look at it, Ecuador, Venezuela, Jamaica. I mean, that's. I think that's a very accessible seven. What I, what I like about Mexico's going to have a youngish team. They're, they're at least youngish in terms of experience. So is Ecuador. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they were, I believe, the second youngest team at the World Cup mm -hmm. uh, behind Ghana, or third, behind Ghana and the U.S. Um, it's a very young team. Venezuela is another young team. There's a lot of inexperience there. Sure, they have that World Cup experience, but that could play in favor for the Mexican national team because they won't be with some seasoned teams. It's still, these teams are still coming into their own as well. I think that this Mexican team, as I look at it, has a very good draw. Right. But what it means is the pressure's truly on Mexico to win this group. Um, you're effectively at home against two teams from Conmebol and Jamaica. And if you don't win the group... Your cruce, your knockout round matchup, is with Argentina's group. And not only are Argentina the reigning Copa America champions, not only are they the, great, the reigning World Cup champions, not only do they have Messi, but there's a deep, dark tournament history between Mexico and Argentina that never goes Mexico's way. So to see Argentina here as the potential quarterfinal opponent to me, if Mexico doesn't take care of business in the group, I mean, that could, that could bring a very abrupt end to Mexico's tournament in the knockout rounds. Argentina is absolutely the team you don't want to face mm -hmm. um, for many reasons. Defending champions of not only Copa America, but of the World Cup uh, with a very strong following to an individual who now calls home the United States, which is Lionel Messi. In what looks to be a very accessible group for them, I mean, you'd want to play Peru right now. Who Has Peru scored a goal yet? I'm still waiting. Juan Reynoso's gone. They've Ooh, not scored Chile. a goal. Chile is not in their best moment. Probably Canada, right, we're figuring? Maybe, yeah, you're figuring it's Canada. Mm -hmm. if, if they beat Trinidad. Not the strongest version of Canada. Yep. Uh, I mean, they've got a very, very accessible group. Argentina's winning that group. There's they're no way they're, they're not, not winning, only that winning that group. They're hurting some teams. Right. They're, they're putting on a show. And, and this tournament was designed in a way to put on a show for Argentina. I mean, of course, the finals in Miami, fi finals in Miami. The, the opening is in Atlanta uh, where, you know, it's going to be a, in a football stadium, massive Argentine following. The, the, you're going to go to New Jersey, Charlotte, then Miami. I think it's all set for them there. Hmm. So
So as I see, you know, as I keep going through kind of Mexico's group here and the cruce really, is if you take care of business in New Mexico, the, the quarterfinal opponent options are not, are not devastating at all. Peru, Chile, or Canada, I would take if I was Mexico. Absolutely. Or the first spot but you gotta, in the semis. You, and I would say you're a major favorite, again, in the United States, effectively at home against any of those three teams. But you agree that you have to win the group to avoid Argentina. Oh, if they don't win the group, it's over. I mean, nine, nine and, and a that, half out of ten that's times, a, that's a problem. they're going to lose to Argentina. And that'll be a problem for Jimmy Lozano because many can argue that Jimmy Lozano's coaching for his World Cup Really? Coaching career. Yes, absolutely. Jimmy Lozano is going to be behind the eight ball in this tournament. I think he knows that, uh, especially after what happened against Honduras in those two legs. I don't, I don't think Jimmy Lozano has the luxury of a quarterfinal exit one game out of the group. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. So he gets out of the group, loses to Argentina in a quarterfinal, they're going to fire him? Depending on how that loss is, yeah, I could see that. Absolutely. Really? You could not see that? In the way that anything can happen with the Mexican Federation and the national team managers, we're on our third since the World Cup, yes. But I think given the kind of context, the background of the support that he seems to have from the power players, I mean... Think about what would have to happen for them to play Argentina's second round. It would have to go something like 1-1-1. One, one, one. Right. It's not so exactly, an, that's not exactly an aspiring nah, you group could, phase. You could, go, you could win two and tie one and still finish second. You know? Were well, you going to tie Argentina? No, no, no. I'm saying in the group. Oh, I'm sorry. In the group phase. Yeah. So you're going to tie uh, Ecuador? Sure. I mean, you beat Venezuela and Jamaica. You get seven points. You finish second. Somebody else finishes Is that what you seven. think is going to happen? No. I just don't. I don't think that. I don't think a quarterfinal loss to Argentina would be worthy of a referendum on the national team manager. Even in a place, you know, like the Mexican Federation where we know it's crazy. We know things can get out of hand and accelerate quickly. It's like. You know, you'd you'd be out of your mind if that's why you fired Jimmy Lozano. I would have been I would have fired him between the first and second leg of Honduras before I'd fire him. After Maybe you're right. They didn't leg. fire Juan Carlos Osorio after a 7-0 loss to there Chile. You so, Do you, does this draw from Mexico impact your expectations for them at all? Of course, of course. I think the favorite. What were your expectations before? It was semifinals, U.S. quarters, Mexico. I wanted to reserve judgment on Mexico until I saw the draw. I really did, just because. It, Jimmy Lozano is unproven. This Mexican national team is still trying to come together. They've not really had that, that opportunity. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> um, so I wanted to reserve judgment there. The here, yeah. yeah, don't play with the tech. Okay. Um, but I, I really do think it's, it's, it's a... Uh, so, so your expectation has gone up or gone down? Now? Gone down. Because of Argentina? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's tough to argue I mean, that, listen, who, you, you, you've pretty much... Sec, who's, the, a, who's the one team in this that you did not want to face? Argentina, I okay. guess what I would think is that... Any Historically, who's the one team you would want to face if it was a big team? I know you're going to say Brazil. Yeah, for Mexico, it's definitely Brazil. definitely now with the way Brazil is. Yeah, no, I no, just in general, for Mexico, it's Brazil. Yeah. You'd be a massive underdog, though, against Brazil, against Argentina, and even against the U.S., I think you would be an underdog. Right. Right? So, I mean, Mexico, if we're being honest about the teams in pot one, they were the weakest. You know, they were always going to have... The Cruce was always, if they don't win the group, um, you know, was always going to be going to be brutal there. 